birthday, girl. Mm -hmm. And a birthday. What? What? And hey, a hey, hey, hey. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what's up y'all welcome back to the channel you already know when i come on camera looking like this your girl is doing a hair review a hair review so anyways huge shout out to you nice hair for sponsoring today's video and sending me over a super cute wig so you already know with your wig you get some free goodies they sent me hd wig cap a satin robe Satin storage bag, more lashes, another wig cap, edge bands, all of that nice, fun, free stuff. And y'all, this is the wig. We are doing color today, okay? Your girl loves a little pop-out color. So they sent me this reddish, copperish wig. Let me go ahead and take all of this off. So this is the color of the hair. It is Brazilian Body Waves. And look at the knots. Look at the lace. It is already pre-cut. You already have your parting down the middle. Baby hair is made. This is their lace Bye Bye Knots wig. It has the adjustable wig band on the inside. So this will be a completely glueless wig. This is meant to just pop on your head and go. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this on my head. It's gonna be completely glueless. We're probably just gonna adjust the baby hairs a little bit, lay the edges down, and then I'm either gonna curl it or flat iron it, not really sure. But you guys will see everything in real time. Let's see how she looks. Love yours. Ugliness and a success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. That life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain you brought you still linger in your mind. Cause pain still lingers on mine. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is, nigga, you came a long way. Bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. Be a person that's better. Life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Think being broke is better. Life that's better than yours. No such thing, no such thing. But what's my... Love yours. Okay, y'all, this is the final look of this unit. This unit is 24 inches. Like I said, it is Brazilian body weight. I just flat ironed it. I used a little bit of finishing flat iron spray. Definitely could have got this straighter if I used a better flat iron, but I think it still just came out really good. It still has a lot of movement to it, even though I put a little bit of product on it. It's still like really silky. Look at that. This is how the edges look, the baby hairs. Looks real good. All I did y'all was put a little bit of gel on them and then I laid them down for about 15 minutes while I flat iron my hair. And that's it. 
I didn't cut the ends. I thought the ends weren't too bad. I maybe could do like a little snip right here, but to me, it really didn't need it. But you guys, check out Unite's hair. Check out this unit. Their Bye Bye Knots wig is the truth, okay? So easy to do, so easy to put on, and it looks like your hair got laid by a professional. And you did it yourself, okay? So y'all, the details will be down below in the description box. A coupon code will be there as well. And y'all, let's play with some color for the winter. Let's play with a little bit of color. I think, I think this is that perfect shade that any skin tone can get away with. Really cute, the length is nice and long. The hair is silky. Y'all know you nice does not disappoint. Thank you once again to them for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, besties. When I tell you guys, I am tired. Dog tired, that's the word. I'm dog tired. I was up until 4.15 in the morning. I was up recording the sponsorships until about 1.30 in the morning. Then I start taking my braids down at that time. Then at 2 a.m. when I'm done taking my braids down, I said, let's go ahead and just wash your hair tonight because I was gonna wait until this morning. I'm glad I washed it last night. Washed my hair last night, was done with everything by about 3.30. Laid in bed, scrolled on my phone till about 4.15. My alarm goes off at 7.20, around 7.20 to get the kids up for school. And usually I go back to sleep for about an hour. Kids will come back to my room, wake me up in about an hour saying that they're ready to go. I throw my sweats on and I drop them off. I could not go back to sleep from 4.15, 4.30, whenever I fell asleep until about 7 15 7 20 when i woke up so that's right at that's about three hours i had about three hours of sleep i don't know why when i woke up this morning i was looking at the clock saying it, it was right under three hours so maybe my times are off a little bit but anyway my plan today was to drop them off at school and then come back take a nap for two hours and then go to my hair appointment because my hair appointment was at 12. y'all she texts me and asked me could I come in at 9 30. I should have said no I, I should have said no I wasn't thinking I'm thinking like oh okay well I can get it knocked out and then take a nap later in the day oh Jesus anyway that's my morning rant I'm sleepy I've had three hours of sleep and I feel like I'm about to go in here and be a bobblehead and she gonna have to keep waking me up while she braiding my hair Lord but anyway, we are kicking off Gina's big birthday bash weekend. Today isn't officially day one, but this is day one, okay? Keno and Fitz come today. Their plane lands at 3.30. So I am definitely seeing my booze tonight. Uh, Lily and Portia, I believe, come in tomorrow. And tomorrow is day one of my big bash weekend okay so i have things planned for friday saturday and sunday um i did rent out an airbnb for the dinner slash game night tomorrow but i get the airbnb today this afternoon um because keno and fitz are going to be staying there the first two days because i actually hired my friend oh y'all know keno if y'all watch them Y'all know Kino is a cook. I was about to say chef. I think chefs have actually like culinary degrees. I, I ain't gonna use the word chef. But my baby is a cook, okay? A cook. He cooked for my birthday last year and he's doing it again this year. So we done planned out a whole menu, decorations, all that. So yeah, I'm super excited. Got an Airbnb, so he can do all his grocery shopping and prep everything today and then he'll be ready to cook tomorrow before the party so i am very excited y'all only thing i'm nervous about is like how this airbnb looks i have only booked three airbnbs in my entire life <laughs> and the last time i booked one i think was when i was with my ex-fiance okay so that was 
we broke up in 2020. So it could have been 2018, 2019, somewhere around it. I ain't booked the Airbnb since. So yeah, I'm nervous. The inside looks beautiful. The pool, the inside, the decor looks nice. It's just, why don't y'all have pictures of the outside? That's what's throwing me off. And I didn't even think about it until after I booked it. And I told Jennifer, I said, this Airbnb don't have pictures of the outside, but most of the other In ones one do. Mile. And so Jennifer, I gave Jennifer the address. She looked it up on Google Maps. You can't really see the house very well because there's so many trees, but I don't know. No. The reviews were good, so that's what I'm holding hope to. The reviews were good and the pictures look great from the, on the inside. And that's what we're gonna be. We're gonna be on the inside of the house. So Lord. And no, I'm not in my new car. We we still in the rental. <laughs> kids wanted to be dropped off in the new car this morning I said no we'll, we'll wait till next week because I haven't even added it to my insurance yet so it's sitting so after I get my hair done and I get back home then I'm gonna add it to my insurance so that car just that car needs to sit <laughs> it needs to sit for right now interject for a second for those just tuning into the show the reason you hear the disgust from Ryan and Eric is because you guys aren't buying what he's doing. Of course out. not. Nobody is. I can't say for certain that she needs to dump him forever, but this is so to, disrespectful. To say I'll marry you in two minutes after? Yes. Come to on. find out your man is cheating on you and then he weasels out of being in trouble by saying, but I love you and I want to marry you, that is manipulative. Manipulative. Manipulative to her emotional psyche. I, I, you know, what I, I know it sounds crazy, y'all. Just because I'm saying yes right now, like I said, we have stipulations, darling. Why don't you think about it for a few days or something? This is yeah. Can we check back with you because I, I don't think want to talk to her. I'm so mad right now. Nah, I know, but I think we all think you're making a big mistake. Can we check back with you on Monday? Really think about this. Talk to your friends. Yes, and or your family. I mean, I know you. You before this had never happened, you'd be all in on this engagement. And I know there are people listening right now who survived to cheat, no problem. But it hasn't even been five minutes. Marriage is not easy. You're starting to cheating before. Yeah. I want to give him a chance. I am. Okay, well, we're going to let you go, Kat. And uh, y'all talk it out, and then you come back to us next week and let us know what you ultimately decided to do, okay? Okay, thank you. I I'll call you in a minute, Kat. I love you, baby. I love you, too. Oh, yeah, you, oh, man. I mean, God. it's just like a collective Eric. eye roll. Eric. Eye roll, eye roll, <laughs> everybody in the studio. I was just screwed. They barely like... hung up because idiots. Child, y'all know I love listening to Ruler and Ryan's Roses every Thursday at 9.20 a.m., okay? Yeah, I love it. So, this girl assumed, this girl had a feeling her boyfriend was cheating on her. She had all these red flags. I don't even want to go through everything that, that he was, you know, working late, supposedly. And not, not, not a 30, 45 minutes or an hour late. He would come home three or four hours late, wouldn't answer his phone. She said they wasn't having adult time no more. It was a lot of stuff that uh, he, he was just acting real weird. But anyway, so y'all know the premise of that segment is to offer him free red roses and to see if, if, he, if he will give it to her or another woman. So of course, like they always do, they give it to another woman. So he got caught and then he proposed to her online on air that's the word he proposed to her on air saying he's sorry he's sorry he's sorry men don't be sorry until they get caught because on the card that you was giving the other woman it was i can't wait to see you so you mean to tell me 45 seconds ago you couldn't wait to see the other woman but now that you got caught you were saying that you was gonna try to break it off with the other woman and you want to marry me no sir no See, I ain't never been cheated on in a relationship that I know of. It may have happened, but I ain't never had no, uh, Barbara, I'm trying to come to you as a woman. I ain't never had that. Never had nobody message me, send me pictures, send me videos. I never caught nothing in nobody's phone. I never caught it with my eyes. I never, nothing, nothing. In all my years of dating, nothing, okay? But, I do know if it was to happen and I catch my man cheating red-handed there are two options that pop in my head as a reaction one 
sir i'm totally disgusted disgraced by you i'm done there's no coming back from this i'm done i'm done i'm done f you and you're crying in your tears okay that's one two the other option would be let me get my lick back yes i want to be petty yes i want some tit for tat type shit i i indeed do so those are two things that come to mind uh i do actually think let me not say i was cheated on in half with my ex fiance my ex fiance before we was of course living together and committed to one another i wound up finding out it was some overlap with me and his ex he says that the overlap was when we weren't official okay we were just dating that's what that's what he says okay and the way i found this out it yeah long story my sister's a hairstylist his ex is a hairstylist she wound up uh getting her salon suite right next door to my sister and because there's not many black women that was in the building at the time her and my sister kind of connected like hey what's up da, da, da. they get to talking and that's how it was found out so my sister wound up telling me <laughs> crazy right yeah crazy because the way it happened was it was one night they was both working late and the girl wound up breaking down saying that she wasn't over her ex and her ex did her so wrong broke up with her with no explanation and this and that and come to find out that ex was my current yeah so i guess he broke up with her with no explanation to be with me anyway um yeah so even though nigga we may not have had titles at the time i still was like me and you was fucking you know me and you was together every weekend well almost every weekend so anyway he, he claims it was it was why we didn't have our titles yet but that was around the time i used to ask him so what are we what are we what do you want like we've been dating we've been dating at that point it was for like four months and we never had any exclusive titles so that's probably when he was doing his thing with his ex maybe trying to break it off with her slow hair i don't know i don't know but that's the closest i've ever been to somebody cheating on me you know now I have had an ex lust over girls pictures. I've seen that the lusting over the pictures. Yeah. And I have seen flirtation on Instagram. I've seen, yeah, I haven't seen flirtation on Instagram. Yeah. But somebody actually f somebody taking them on trips, dates, buying them stuff like really cheating. I never experienced that. But I feel like if I did, I'd want to get my leg back. Okay. Yeah. Because it, it hurt harder when it comes from a woman. Y'all know men. Men don't even want you going to lunch with your male co-worker. Okay? It's going to hit harder when it comes from me. Anyways, we're here. I'm about to go get this hair slayed and laid. So when y'all see me next, I'll be transformed. Okay? And, and just like that, she's back. And she's blonde. She's the blonde birthday baddie <laughs> oh this hair is from nadula they just sent it to me i didn't do a sponsorship on it they were like here you can have a gift some hair so that's what this is uh 24 inch yeah it's a little flatter at the top than i would like but all i gotta do i'm just comb that out later it'll be fine but it looks so good so good i'm only gonna have it for a few days i gotta take this out i think monday we switching we switching things up monday we sw and i gotta take this out monday but then i have another hair appointment tuesday yeah y'all i'm at walmart now i need to get ethan some medicine my baby does not feel good he's at home right now but y'all i did not know my man g hughes makes sugar-free salad dressing now y'all know his barbecue sauces to me taste better than like regular barbecue sauces he got 
baby, what you say? Honey Dijon, we about to try this. And a sweet vinaigrette, Asian miso dressing. Oh, we about to buy, and they only $3? We about to buy all these. We, we buying all these. Yeah. Maybe I've been living under a rock because he got ketchup, sugar-free ketchup, yum yum sauce, burger sauce, honey mustard, Polynesian. Yeah, I've been living under a rock. Oh, wow. Look what's in here. I don't, I've never seen this in person. And it's not even pink, it's white. Well, it's cream. I know you lying. Ooh. Wow. They got Wendy's chili and I gotta try it. <laughs> it is storming. I said, not on my fresh hair. I walked out of Walmart and I'm like, what is going on? A thunderstorm was not in my bingo cards for this good old Thursday. So anyway, yeah, my hair got soaking wet. <laughs> So I'm quite annoyed about that. And it already started waving back up. I said, ain't this. I can't wait to try this. I wonder if this, this, I wonder how it's gonna taste. Yeah. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna take my rental back today or tomorrow. How may I help you? How may I help you? 6 30 i'm kind of i'm kind of eating earlier than i'd like to but i'm so hungry i have not had a real meal all day today i had like two little bags of like cheese it crackers when i was getting my hair done and then i had a little bit of fruit i had a little piece of candy like i have not had any food today so your girl is hungry Mmm, it smells good, y'all. I wonder if it tastes good. I probably would eat. Now that I'm looking at it, it's it's not that it's not that much. That's what it looked like straight out the can. Slop. Okay, y'all, we back. I doctor up my chili with a little fake sour cream, which is my uh, plain Greek yogurt, and a little cheese and a little onion. But I'm gonna taste it just straight out the can just to see how it tastes. It's not bad. It's it's good. Y'all, we going to the liquor store. Got the bestie with me. <laughs> and we fogged up. They fogged up? Bad. We just found a random liquor store. But it looks nice and lit up. Oh, I know you like, oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, bad. It's stank. Yeah, it's, it's stank really bad. Oh my God. Okay. This is what we came for. It's a riggedy rock. Honey melon, I don't think I ever tried this one. Limited edition honey melon. Hmm. Boosie juice? Wait a minute. Boosie got liquor? Is this Boosie Boosie? I don't know. Boosie juice. You would have promoted that. I ain't heard him promote this. Boosie juice. Strawberry kiwi flavor vodka. 40%. 40%. <laughs> okay. I so. Y'all, we done been at the Airbnb for like three hours of this time. <laughs> It's 11.47, about three hours yeah, at this point. We done, we done we been. We put boxes together. We done put boxes together. Where's the champagne towel? Yes, and then, and look. The champagne towel. <laughs> we done did a couple of things. We done did some things. Y'all, this Airbnb is so cute, too. Yeah. Look at this, y'all. Done put things we together. We were with Yes, we were not Tomorrow? Yeah, look. It's about to be a movie. A motherfucking movie. Yeah. Yes. We started on the balloons. There's balloons. Well, Keno started on the balloons. Started a couple of them. Yeah. We're going to finish them tomorrow. Yeah, the Airbnb they is popular. They, they did start popping. <laughs> I'm not going to. Keno too drunk. The Airbnb is very cute, child. It's like very artsy. It's, it's, it's 
really nice. I love it. Let me show y'all each room. Like, this is the first room. Pac-Man room. The Pac-Man room. You know, got a nice uh, queen. Is this a king? That's no, that's probably like a queen. Queen or fool. Queen or fool. That's a queen. Queen or fool. Same time. It's same size. Yeah. yeah. This is the room right at the front door. Y'all know I'd be scared to sleep at the front door. Okay, that's too cold. But if you're drunk, I'll sleep anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, little H town, little painting on the wall. There is. You so know, cute. So cute. a table for what? About fifteen people, ten yeah. people. At least. Yes. A, a table perfect for tomorrow's. Festival. Perfect for tomorrow. Then we got painters on this wall. But here's the kitchen. I love that red. Um, it's like the forties, fifties refrigerator. I think that's so cute. We got a table here. Then this is the master switch. Uh oh. <laughs> He trying to move shit out. <laughs> this is the master suite. This is Kino and Fitz room. Yes. So we got the king size bed here. So cozy. Yes. Then we got this big. Oh, I ain't never bed. seen a day bed this big, and, and it has a pull a out. Period. Look. So this is this could this? be five, six feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. The details. The. Everything. Look at this. The, the the bathroom is nice with the marble walls. Oh, the closets are big as hell. The this a closet it's right here. Two closets. Ooh, it got the nice walk-in closet here. Hangers uh -huh. and another his and hers closet. Yeah. So this is the his closet and that's the his closet too. Okay. <laughs> the his and his. His and his. And then we walking through. Y'all can see the decor. The decor. The details. And then this is the bathroom right here. One of the bathrooms. We got the nice little, you know, the little products here, products there. Mm -hmm. We get in the pool. Oh, we about to go skinny. <laughs> <laughs> this is another bedroom. Nice, cute. All the nice pictures on the wall, the color schemes. If you gotta wash your clothes. And the owner of this house is Helen. She's so sweet and she's so cool. And this is the last bedroom, y'all. This is bedroom number four. So there's a bed here and there's a bed there. We got decor. Uh oh. Bitch. Ah! Wait! Bitch. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What? Wait a minute! Oh, Jesus! Wait! Wait, Wait pause. Okay. Okay, y'all. We outside. Oh, it's still raining? Oh, God, it's still raining, y'all. raining out here so but it's a nice huge patio out here they got the grass wall the hammock the pool over there the pool house we're gonna walk out here for just a second hold on let me clean up let me clean this off real quick we're gonna walk out here for a second okay we walking because my hair just got done today cute pool they got what is that called hacky sack what's that called when y'all throw it in a hole over there i don't know then it's like the golf over here. This house is so nice, cute. This is a nice big old pool. But it's raining, so let's go back in the house. I thought house. she seen a few. Yeah, we playing Dort. Fitz versus Gina. Yes! <laughs> let's go. And they already started. So wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. And she got down there too. Yeah. Oh. Five. That's crazy. Just like walk up to it and put it. Oh, oh. Is this So we said the person who's taking the shot is the one. Wait, so the person closest to the closest bullseye to. doesn't have to. So me and him are at the exact same spot. I think right y'all should here. just split this. Yeah. Okay, I think y'all should just split this. Okay, let's split. This is a tie. I think y'all right. Okay. Do we have shot glasses? They are getting out of I am the shot oh. glass. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> no, we should do shot glasses. You do we shot have shot glasses? We do not have shot glasses. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to get it even, y'all. I'm trying to make sure. <laughs> and that, yeah, that, that's it. That's it. Now Cheers. Down the to Cheers. Cheers to the winners. And a birthday, girl. Mm -hmm. And a birthday. What? What? And hey, a birthday. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Cup Woo. of
that was good. Okay. Good morning. Happy Friday. Today is the first day. Well, I guess yesterday was the first day. But today is the official first day of my birthday weekend, birthday festivities. I'm excited. Um, I've been up for like an hour now, just scrolling the internet, not doing too much. My stomach hurts. I don't know why I woke up with a stomach ache. It could be because I had two mixed drinks and three shots yesterday, last night. It could be that. I didn't get all my sleep. I didn't, I went to sleep at about 3.45 and woke up at like 9.15. So I didn't sleep a lot. I don't know what it is, but my stomach is just kind of uneasy right now. It could be I'm nervous for the weekend. I'm nervous. I want everything to go right. But yeah, I got a little bubble guts going on. If that's TMI for you, this is the wrong channel. I'm just going to say that right now. But anyway, uh, I'm about to put my nails on. These are my birthday nails. Y'all know I'm the press on queen. So these are the birthday nails. Nothing crazy. Y'all know I don't do really, really long nails. Like this for me, like this is extremely long. So let me put it on my thumb. That for me is very long, okay? <sighs> yeah. So that's what I'm about to do now, put these nails on. It is nasty, gloomy, overcast, muggy, disgusting outside, and it's supposed to be like this all weekend. Temperature's supposed to drop tonight, get in the 30s and 40s. So it's rainy and nasty, plus it's gonna be cold. Horrible combination. Like, I don't mind the cold, but why throw the rain on top of it, God? Why? Like, that is just a recipe for uh, ick, you know? So, but anyway, um, I gotta go pick my cake up after I do my nails. And yeah, that's it. That's all for the daytime. This is the way my nails are looking so far. It's a little ash right here. Don't don't worry about that, okay? I don't need nobody close up on my hands anyway. I hate it. You, you super close up on my hands. You need to be giving me money for a manicure and new press-ons, okay? But I just got a message that I don't have to pick my cake up. My cake is getting dropped off to me tonight. I'm like, okay, thank you. Because I don't have to drive all the way across town. Y'all want to know what's crazy? I don't know why I am so scared to drive my new car. It's just... I don't know. I don't know why I'm so scared to drive it. As of last night, I was like, okay. Friday morning, I'm dropping the rental off. And I'm going to drive the car that I'm paying for. Like, I'm going to drive my shit. I feel like I need to keep my rental car till like Monday. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, you know what? When Jennifer got her new car earlier this year and she didn't really start, she got it in like January, February, but she didn't start driving it on an everyday basis until May. And I would be like, girl, that is so weird. Like she would drive her daughter's car to work. She would drive her daughter's car to the gym. She would drive her daughter's car everywhere. And I'd be like, girl, you got a brand new car that you was paying on. Why is you not driving it? And I'm like, that is so weird. She was like, it's expensive and I don't want nobody's basket to hit it. I don't want nobody's car to ding it. She's like, people drive stupid. And now I feel her. <laughs> I totally feel her. I haven't had a brand, brand new car fresh off the lot with zero miles on it. The only other time in my life is when my mom bought me a brand new car um, twice. Uh, my, my first brand new car was a Hyundai Elantra. Child, I don't even remember the year. It was probably like um, fresh off the lot, brand new, only my booty sat in the seat. Then I had a Saturn. I had a blue Saturn, brand new, fresh off the lot that my mom had got me. That had to be... That was right after the Elantra, so that was probably around there. They don't even make Saturns anymore. <laughs> but um, those are the only two times I've had a brand, brand new car. This is my first time buying myself a brand new, brand, brand spanking new car. I'm just, I'm just sitting back realizing, like, I've had plenty of cars, plenty of really nice cars, but they've all been used, you know, getting something that's 
brand new treating yourself to that y'all know when i first went into that dealership my mind was pretty much set to get a g-wagon so y'all know the g-wagon is my second dream car if y'all been watching me for a while one of my two dream cars y'all a range rover which i already have and a g-wagon okay i never was in the realm of bentley lambo rolls royce because to me those are like unattainable cars i don't know why i just was just like th those are not attainable for me or so i thought <laughs> you know once you sit down and put numbers together it's like you can afford those vehicles and you can afford them i, I don't know if the word is easily but they fit like i i don't have any pro i would have no problems paying for those type of vehicles vehicles but anyway um when i started my car search the cars that were on my radar was a bentley bentega which is a bentley suv Maybach, which i have now and also the g-wagon but g-wagon was number one and the Maybach and the bentley were you know they were kind of like one or the other if i got i really you know didn't care if i got one or the other um Come to find out, G-Wagons have a four-year waiting list to get a brand new G-Wagon. I could have got a used one, but I went in intentionally like I want a brand new car. I've never been able to treat myself to a brand new car. So when I heard that, that was really disappointing. I think I showed y'all in a clip. They had a beautiful peanut butter brown G-Wagon. They had a sky blue G-Wagon. They had black. They had silver, but they were all used. They said the only way um, you would get one is if someone ordered one off that four-year waiting list and once they got it, they decided not to keep it or they decided um, or their credit didn't go through or they didn't have the money or whatever. Because waiting four years, your financial situation can change in four years. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, that was with G-Wagon. So that was very discouraging. Um, I test drove the Maybach that day and I was like, wow, this car is huge. I love it. It's luxury. This type of car you're supposed to get driven around, chauffeured in. Like the back seat of my car is like, y'all seen it. It's like nothing I could have even imagined. You know what I mean? Um, I wanted to go into Bentley also. Bentley, which I didn't know is the same thing. So the only difference with like Bentley is they don't get a stock of inventory from what um, the sales guy told me. They don't just get like Toyota, Lexus, Mercedes. They get stock of inventory sent to them. Bentley, everything is custom ordered. So they were telling me if I want a brand new, brand new Bentley, I would have to custom order it. And to get your car is between five and six months. And they make it just for you. I could have, once again, got a used Bentley because they had a bunch of used Bentleys. They had the Flying Spur. They had the Bentegas. They had everything, but all of their cars were used. And I'm like, okay, do you want to use one, Gina? It looks so nice and still, you know, the same body shape and everything. But I'm like, no, I'm sticking to my, I'm getting a brand new car, okay? So then I went back to Mercedes. <laughs> And then we started talking numbers and stuff. And this was a week before I got the car. So anyways, um, I'm just saying all that to say that that's, that's pretty much the process of how I got my car. Because I don't think I explained that in the last video. I think I was just so tired that day. We, we had been in and out that dealership for literally hours from early afternoon until the nighttime. Um... Oh, and Maybach is the same way. Maybachs aren't just sent to Mercedes. All Maybachs are just like Bentley. They're all custom ordered. So the Maybach that I have, somebody custom ordered this. Every detail that's on that car, that person put each detail into the car from the lighting to the grill. They did everything, okay? So they told me the reason why that brand new car, that 2024, was their only brand new one on the lot is because once that old client's car was ready, they didn't pass the credit check. So that's why I'm telling y'all, when y'all order these cars that take months and months to build, 
people's financial situation changes, your credit changes, things change, you know. So they weren't able to get the car. So that's why the car was available and your girl got it because every detail, which is so crazy, every detail they have in that car is every detail that I would have wanted. Like legit, everything. The only difference is I maybe have wanted peanut butter seats. Maybe, possibly. But the only thing with peanut butter seats is I got kids who they don't give a damn about eating in my car, disrespecting my car. They'll throw a gum wrapper. Child, y'all know how these are kids. But when you wear dark denim jeans, it um, can rub off on the leather. So that is the only thing, reason why I've never gotten light-colored leather seats. So anyways, yeah, I feel like that car was meant for me. Just, I just feel like it was meant for me. It was meant for me to get that car, so... Yeah. So with all that said, I need to drive it. <laughs> I need to drive it, Lord. I'm so scared. I need my car back. I need my white car back. Shoot. Y'all, I'm at the mall with my sidekick. Say, what's that? Show them your plate. Oh. Our first meal of the day. Yeah. So she got noodles and bourbon chicken. And I got the same thing. I got noodles. Bourbon chicken and orange chicken. But y'all, look at this birthday gift that I just bought myself. We went to um, King Johnny. Y'all know in Houston, the popular jewelers are King Johnny and TV Johnny. Not to get them confused, okay? This is the ring I got myself. Look! So cute! Oh, that's just big and bossy. Big and bossy. Would you ever get Yeah, that's where I got most of my, I would, I would get a G. I get, I get most of my jewelry from uh, King Johnny. He did my custom necklace, my, few of my rings, bracelets, so yeah. And you worked on a really good deal with you. Because the beginning price, it was like 900. Well. I mean, no, 9,000. No, the beginning price was 1,500. But you always, they start high and they, they negotiate down low. Yeah. So. That was good. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's with everything. Negotiate. And when you say no and turn and walk away, they bring it down even lower. Because that's and, exactly and that, what I did. That's what he did. Because he was like, let me see what my manager He's like, let me call my manager. Let me call him. I said, no. Mm -mm. I'll be back. And so body I'll... lower. Hey, y'all. Oh, I'm glad I turned y'all on because I see my battery is about to die. I need to change that before we leave. But anyways, we're home now. Showered, lotion down. About to put a little bit of makeup on. And when I say a little bit of that, okay? Jennifer is on her way. Her daughter and Ashton are holding the fort down tonight. Ethan is coming home in a little bit. He's out with his boys. They've been at the jump place. Now they're at a baseball game. Then they'll be home after that. So, yeah. And I said, you don't want your sister coming with you? He was like, no. No, if she comes, I don't want to go. I'm like, is it that serious? Is it really that serious? I don't know. Me and my siblings, we was like this. This. Us three was like this growing up. We was always together. So, yeah, I guess not. The teenage years are kind of awkward, you know? So, all right. Let's put just a tiny bit of beat on this face. My bruise has gotten so much better. Y'all really can't see it because of the filter that's on these cameras. But it's just a little tiny little doot doot just right here. It's just a little bit of a brown lip liner. And I just opened this up. This is called Origin, Origins Bloomin' Shine Lip Glaze. And it's in the color Tender Tulip. That's what the box looks like. I got it from the CCS, of course. And then that's what the color looks like.
Hey y'all, this is my fit. So the theme is denim and white. So everybody can wear all denim, all white, denim and white mix. So yeah, this is just a little crop jacket I got from Forever 21, forever ago. This is from Target. I got on clearance for like $3. It's just a, a tank top bodysuit. These jeans are Forever 21. Also, there's some bell bottom. Y'all can't see, but they bell bottom jeans. And then I'm wearing my Balenciaga sneakers, Balenciaga bag. Yeah, and my new ring. It goes so cute, so perfect. So that's the look. Let's go. I have arrived to the party. We got yes. Erica, yes. you know. Yes. Here. Look at this setup. Look at this, y'all. I didn't even really, I, I saw it, but I didn't see it. You I, get a, I, I am you get seeing everything. it. You get it all. And Wait, y'all built did. this whole thing one by one and a glass of champagne? <laughs> Thank you, baby. You did so. You should be a, literally a party. Where did I put my purse? Where did I put my purse? And close that door. Drea just got here. Hey, Drea. What's going on, Big Betsy? They say blonde have fun, baby. She got her blonde. They say blonde got more fun, but she with the pretty auburn. The winter red. Y'all subscribe to my girl. Please come over and join the Drea Baby gang. Be a Drea Baby. Yes. And then Jennifer back there, y'all already know. Y'all become part of the squad. She's stuffing she's her face right now. <laughs> she in the cut eating her little salad. <laughs> Look at the plate, y'all. Stuffed chicken, stuffed salmon, stuffed chicken, corn. They came up mac with a and whole menu. A whole menu. Y'all see Grumps, y'all? First taste. We gonna taste this. No. Is this called Rasta Pasta? Yes. Rasta Pasta. It has sausage, chicken, and shrimp in it. Baby, look at this. Mmm. 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 It's perfect. No, it's perfect. Come on. Come on, creamy. Mmm. I love you. This is the shit. The, the sh there you go. Come on, Chef. I Come on, Chef. Follow me on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Gina. Thank you. Happy birthday, Gina. Thank you, Gina. We got, so the lady next to her that he just got into it with goes to the lady and goes, yeah, because they didn't have their ID, he's gonna take he's gonna pay for it because he got his ID. Oh, excuse me, you don't even know. He this. got mad and oh. didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> and said, that shit come that's out. my ID, yeah. which it was, was. it was mine about. Da -da 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 -da, dummy. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. And she mind our good old business. She catch up. Okay, but we not looking. Y'all, this but happened when he today. Said dummy, this happened today. She turned around and said, oh, well, now you ain't got to call her a dummy now. And I'm like, well, bitch. She ain't got to be a dummy. <laughs> We talking about no, well, we talking about Kino's short temper. He has a short temper. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. 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 Wait.
lipstick got brush your teeth. What's in the box? Uh oh. You need a knife? Nice These yeah. press ons, I can't just do too much. <laughs> What's that? I th maybe I'm a little Wait a minute. Wait a And just do it like that. Oh, Lord. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. One, for Christmas, she gave me a gag give a plunger. Oh, I sure did. So I never got her back. So I was, sure did. This was she my gave gift. you a bag gift? Yeah, she gave me a plunger, some sandwich wet, wet bag. I did. A Brillo pad. <laughs> But what was the real gift? One of those Louis Vuitton bracelets. Louis Vuitton bracelet. Right, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, friend. Because I, I want all that. gifts behind you. This the, oh, this the next yeah. gift. Yeah, because it's 1042. Yeah. It's 1042. It gotta be a little. Oh!
bottles. Y'all know my mother. Yeah.
Oh my god. And we got more shots right here. Oh, we got more shots. Those are the exit shots. Oh yeah, these are the goodbye shots. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Happy Saturday. Well, it's afternoon now, but I've been up for a few hours. I'm about to clean up this. Well, I've already started cleaning the kitchen. I already did dishes cleaned up a little bit. I'm about to make my coffee and then clean up a little bit more. Kino and Fitz are on the way. They're coming over here for a little while because they checked out of the Airbnb and then they're going to check into their actual hotel for the next two days. Um, and y'all know check-in ain't until 4 o'clock. They might have early check-in. I don't know, but yeah, they're coming over here to kind of kill some time and just hang out. But y'all saw last night was so fun. I don't even feel like I got enough footage. But that, that means y'all need to check out Drea, Poe, Jennifer, Lily, Portia, everybody else you saw. Y'all need to check out their vlogs too because, of course, they were there and recording. So I just kept, you know, when you just in the moment, you kind of forget to pick your camera up. And everybody's like, Gina, you need to be filming this or filming that. So I feel like I got enough footage, but I just don't know what all's in it. So we shall see. But it was definitely a vibe last night. I will pick doing a house party, something more intimate over the club any day. Even though we are doing the club tonight, but it's a hosting. So I get paid and I get free bottles. So yeah, that's how that goes. But um, yeah, I always like doing house parties. Cause it ain't like no expectation. You ain't gotta get all fly. You ain't gotta wear heels. You just, you know, come cute and comfortable. We doing real basic coffee. The French vanilla, y'all know this is my favorite um, coffee. Javi or Javi, I don't know how you even spell it, but how you say it. But it's super concentrated, but very, very good. Y'all know I have been through the ringer with like cold brews. This right here has been the absolute best. And then y'all already know my little skinny syrups. Oh, and we did order something from Sephora. And the influencers influence other influencers. <laughs> Kyra talked about this body butter on one of her uh, videos. So I said, I got to try it. It's the Fenty Holiday Scent. So it's Fenty's do, 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 Butter Drop. Is Butter Drop the name of the fragrance or... And Kyra said it lasts all day. Oh, it smells like a bakery, like a warm cinnamon roll. Oh, it smells so good. And it's not like overpowering, strong scent. Oh, okay. And then y'all know all this stuff always comes with samples. So I just got some. Y'all y'all know I already have this in my collection. So I got a sample of it, put this in my purse. And then they sent, I don't know what this is. But I asked for two perfume samples and they only sent me one. Okay, y'all, I'm showered, I'm changed. Keno and Fitz still ain't here. Jennifer still ain't here. So anyways, I'm changing out my bouquet. Y'all know my friend had got me this bouquet last week. So I already took all the dead flowers out of this one and rearranged it and yeah. So it's not many left on the big one. So this is the one I had in my bedroom. So I'm gonna just take the good ones out of here and just add them to the big one in the kitchen. And so pink and red roses stay good longer is what I'm saying. Purple are a close second, but these white ones are a no. A hell no. No, to no, no, no. Oh, I cut these way shorter. Oh well, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> Oh man, I forgot that I cut these super short. Purple one ain't bad. Baby, I ain't realize flowers shed badly. Soon as I even touch them, shake them a little bit, they all the petals are falling off. I said, maybe I should save some of these rose petals to do a little cute little bath tonight. Mm -mm. This one is so pretty and perfect. Look at that one. I think 
Kino and Fitz might be here. I just hear the doorbell. Let's see. pretty much do whatever she wanted to do because I'm like I don't have an eye for none of this type of stuff thank you because all the white ones have like died y'all can't even fix here oh we yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was recording we just kind of early just chilling just checking chilling. out the house mm -hmm. loving in the house <laughs> thank you so sick oh, <laughs> Are we doing a picture, a family picture? Just walk in. Just walk in. It's like, <laughs> right. That's why your camera wasn't on. <laughs> and we gonna do ours. Period. So while they over there trying to do their little they introduction, because yeah, they think they cute or whatever. whatever. Um, it's Gina and Fitz. Mm, and Fitz and it's Gina. Gina period. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, that's you. cute. Oh, that is cute. That looks really good. That it's looks so cute. Did you drink it? Can I bother you really no, quickly? No, you're so good. he doesn't. Cheers, guys. Cheers Jennifer, to Gina's birthday. <laughs> Cheers to the November weekend. Period. <laughs> Back at it again. Yes. <laughs> Very holiday y. It looks like eggnog. Right here. Right here. Well, you well, can we put both here. Yeah, you can put there. Did you have the regular BLT? Or you got chicken on yours? No. Not regular? Chicken. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't show y'all my outfit. I thought it was just a cute little fun outfit. This is a hat. My friend gave me this hat. Uh, yeah. And these are the clear glasses from Amazon. Zara crop top. She in crop jacket. Wide leg. Old Navy sweats. Hi, Ashton. Hi. Balenciaga sneakers. Some about this outfit just reminded me of like a Tiana Taylor outfit. I just thought it was cute, you know. Of course, it looked better on her because she's really, really slim. And yeah, <laughs> but I like it. Joel Santana used to go hard. Can nobody tell me that? He got on um, that addiction with jail and he just fell out. But Joel's was that guy, okay? As you guys can see, we getting ready. Running extremely late. <laughs> Not late, but just behind schedule. Because I'm having a photo shoot. Yeah, like a little birthday, really quick nighttime photo shoot. So I hired this guy. So really, I was just checking in with y'all. I ain't want nothing. I was just calling. That's how I be talking to my friends. I ain't want nothing. I was just calling to see what you were doing. Talk to me on my ride home because I'm bored. You know, my lips look so good. My lips look good. This is like the perfect size right here. If y'all were ever thinking about getting filler, do it. This is your sign. You're not gonna look like a duck, okay? Not all Botox and filler is gonna make you look like a cat woman. You know, you do it very modestly. Don't just, you know, you look and listen to your doctor's recommendation, listen to your own self, you know? Don't go in trying to just, you know, you know, you know. I can't recommend like chin filler, jaw filler, cheek filler. I don't get all that stuff done. But under eye filler, lip filler, especially lip filler. Lip filler is a game changer. Cause baby, look at these lips. Preferably with a fat ass. Okay, I'm coming, Jigga. <laughs> okay, y'all. We about to go. I'm sweating. I'm nervous. 
Whew. I was just on IG Live. I had to gather a few minutes. Lord. I hate when people say, get on, get on live without a filter. Get on live without a filter. I bet you can't do it. Record every day in my bonnet with no makeup on, natural face. Like, what are you talking about? But let's get on here and go face card for face card. Come on, send me a request so we can go face card for face card, okay? Let's do that. But anyway, I wore a very Gina outfit. It's just very basic. I've been wanting to wear this shirt for the longest. My little overpriced Celine t-shirt. Some black, these are some really thick leggings. Like they're so thick, they're like smashing my ass, kind of. And then, bam, my boots. And then my red Chanel bag. And then, bitch, all my jewelry. Like literally all my jewelry. I got my diamond. I got diamond earrings, but I never wear them. But all, well, damn near all my jewelry. It ain't all. But... Okay. All right. Upper lip is sweating a little bit. Let me dab that motherfucker. Let me dab dab. We wearing a grill tonight. I told y'all I'm in my Erica Badu. <laughs> my Erica Badu era. <laughs> it's a southern thing. Y'all wouldn't understand. On the ground, really, unless you just want to hold it, but it can be just on the ground. You said him in the door. Yeah, you can get these pictures too of him. <laughs> Come on. Bring your arm over a little more. Yeah, I need all that. All that everything. <laughs> Gino! <laughs> you want to take some with the flowers outside the car? Yeah. Keep this extra pay. Um, so... Yeah, right here. <laughs> and just cool. cut your eye. Keep your face that way, but cut your eye at the camera. Like how you would just look at the Yeah, and just, yeah. I mean, you just like have the flowers here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's her now. Have fun. Sorry. Okay, go. There's not a seat in the middle. There's not a seat in the middle. Just the thing with the moving photo. Yeah, it's pretty much just. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much just. Oh, yeah, no, she All right, y'all just gotta go to my clothes. I said, okay. Hold on. She literally can sit right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, y'all get a little closer in. She's having it. Are you sure the same right now? Yeah. Everybody get okay. their full body shot. Oh, okay. I ain't want to block no shoes. All right, I'm going to just snap. Can we do a fun one, laugh? Can we do something? Everybody just get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said there's another client after this. Yeah. Uh, no, through, oh, I need your number. So I'm okay. going to DM me your number. Okay. Because I don't even have it. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Because I'll probably use you Joshua. again, Josh. I yes. found you on. How did you find me? Yes. It was through, I think, Kiana J. Okay. okay. I think it was either Kiana J. It was oh, some yeah. YouTuber. It was, a, yeah, I think it was her. Yeah, Anique yeah, or something. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday. Thank you. Okay. And then Tony send you the rest of the money right now, right? You got my cash. I'll send it right now. Thank you. Bye. Woo. Yes. Huh? That's it. That's it. Yeah. They swapping. The police just came, told them to swap because he smelled tequila on Kino. <laughs> Yeah.
Good afternoon. Making breakfast tacos. Last night, your girl was out of there. Out like a light. Out. But the reason why, let me flip my sausage. The reason why is because all I ate was half a BLT yesterday. That's it. And that was at 4.30. Was that four? Yeah, that was yesterday at four thirty. Half a BLT, a few of the French fries, and your girl trying to drink like what? So I'm not making that mistake again today. So I'm having breakfast tacos right now, and if I need to eat later, if we stay out late, I'm gonna be eating. So I'll let trying to be on a little diet and all that, I need to really stop because that messed me up yesterday. It really did. I, it was, but I had a ball. Okay. I had a ball. Oh, Lord. I was mean to a few people, but... Oh, I had a ball. And I lost two nails. Lord Jesus. I lost two nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just doing the absolute most. But... What's up? I'm just checking in. Jennifer just dropped me off some BC powder and we gonna keep the party going. Please don't open soda with your teeth no more, ma'am. Well, I can't do it with my nail right now, so. So then you asked me. I would have opened it for you. Your favorite. teeth are sensitive. Look at her. Ashton. Boom, bada, bang, bang. We about to do a BC powder. Jennifer brought me some packs. I don't even know how to use this. I don't know if I mix it in juice, put it under my tongue, or on top of my tongue. Because these little packets don't have directions on here. Anyway, bottoms up. It's going on top of my tongue. Mmm. -mm. Oh. Well, that's nasty. The gang's all here. Yo. This yeah, is the yeah, outfit, yeah. and y'all know the outfit. Look, let me just walk over here. This was unplanned, okay? Very much so. Very much so unplanned. Look at. <laughs> just look at that. Number one. All neutrals. Olive brown. Blue yes. Blue. So That's cute. number one. Oh. Light colored hair. <laughs> all of this. And then number two. Sheesh. Y'all, this was. Oh, the lighting is terrible right here. Number two. Still can't see that well, but y'all see? <laughs> Neutrals yep. with the boots, and y'all, I'm bringing my boots in case these start hurting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, we all got our Louis boots, our our neutrals on, and and Kino, Kino's kind of matching us. Kino is. Yes. He's uh, 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 kind. The whole ensemble. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kino. You know, a little one too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you look. Up, Yeah, we have to at least be there by like 5, 5.30. Yeah, Our flight boards at 6.15 or something like that. early. 
When am I going to see y'all again? Hopefully. No, soon. next month. Next month? Next month. Yes, we're going to come back. Yes, we're coming back to see you. Okay. Time. We are. Okay. We love you. Yeah, we don't want to be in New York for Christmas, we don't. so maybe we'll pop out. But we want to be in New York for Christmas. Okay, oh, whatever. So whatever. 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 We'll see you guys. Cold Christmas? A freezing cold Christmas? A one. Is it going to snow? We don't know. It, it didn't snow last year. It ain't got to be this Christmas. They come in next month. It don't matter. I have to see you. Next month, they, they, they say next month for sure, so we got to hold them to it. Yeah, it's, we'll be back for sure. Yes. Ah! This the was at a baby came in weekend. And went so quick. But it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I know. Again, because yeah. last year we had a good time yeah. too. This is a tradition now. Yeah, yes. yeah. this is a once year thing. We have to hold the annual game night every yes. year. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so much fun. It was. Yeah. Yeah, last year was fun. It was. Well, we love you, lady. I hate we this. Well, y'all, that is it. That is all for the birthday weekend. A time was had, and I am so sad it's over with. It just came and went so quickly, and now it's done. That's it. Kino and Fitz, like y'all saw, they left. Portia and Lily was going to meet us at the last spot, but we had got there first, and we told them not to even come because the last spot was so empty because of the weather. So I didn't even give to tell them a proper goodbye. I had to tell them bye over the phone. So <sighs> next birthday is Portia's. So when Portia's birthday comes up, you will see another girl's trip, probably more than likely. Probably 99%. So the crew will be back together again very, very, very soon. But I'm about to tear this food up, y'all. Uh, Miss Trina. Portia's mama cook oxtails, like an oxtails, rice. That look like uh, broccoli and cheese, macaroni, casserole, sweet potatoes, greens, corn. Yeah. I'm about to be a little fat ass. So anyways, thank you guys for watching the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed my friends. Yeah. And so I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.